going over MK Ultra with the precision about this here, what they have done for wearing one time this neoprene socks. Uh, the question that I was confronted with by these people here that you see. In particular, by this individual here also, not only Slovenian police. They would be demonstrating me exactly what you see here. During MK Ultra, they have also involved neoprene socks. They would have me wear on several occasions also neoprene socks. Um, I could say I estimate to about maybe the use of the neoprene socks during my lifetime of MK Ultra that there were might have been during the winter time altogether for 51 years they had me wear winter during the winter a neoprene socks obviously they have done this to protect themselves from other stuff they did <laughs> they also video recorded that stuff it's like I would sleep deprive you for two weeks and then I would take you on a beautiful trip to Hawaii or some other place, whatever, and pose next to you, buddy, where you would be barely standing on your feet with pain all over your chest, all over your body uh, during the cardiac arrest, posing next to you, laughing next to you, treating you with the ice cream, with the food, with the best food. Next to the beautiful girls, they also had this stuff here uh, involved in it. I didn't do a good job. I have to do the whole thing. And they probably use this, what you see here, on probably about, I'm going to give you like a high number. I'm going to say I'm going to be very generous today, 30 occasions, which is like nothing compared to what went on. Uh, but let's say on a 30 occasions, I'm going to be very generous, they did use neoprene socks. Uh, in fact, the neoprene socks they would use till the neoprene socks uh, from whoever these neoprene socks were, uh, they would also demonstrate them to me with all torn apart with I couldn't understand what they were showing me this stuff didn't make any fucking sense the way they demonstrated me this uh, damage in the neoprene socks was pretty much identical to the damage of the life west um, this kind of stuff was also involved in it Uh, this kind of stuff was also involved in it by one guy. Uh, not that he donated, but he borrowed. And I always had to drag a heavy bag on my, sh in my back with exactly the settings that I have now, except that I didn't take care of myself. Uh, other people did during MK Ultra. I didn't have a capacity to put uh, clothing around belts around the stuff like this so that I would protect my waist area. Uh, even the chestnut, they had me pick up with, not with the life vest, but with a backpack on my back. The backpack, just like exactly the one you see right there, was sold to them from Ljubljana, a special store. It's called Igloo Store. They had private stores where they would purchase this igloo sport, where they would purchase this stuff. And what is also interesting to note, like from instance, from the company called Eurospin, but it wasn't also only company called Eurospin. It was the same thing with the Lidl. It was the same thing with Interspar. It was the same thing with all other companies that you have throughout the Europe, Hofer and so on. Uh, they presented items uh, to 
the public, uh, excuse me, not to the public, but to the police, to the inspectors, uh, sometimes uh, giving them even items, food and stuff like this in ahead of releasing it in the store. So they could check that out, inspect that out before it would even be released. Um, as far as the headphones that you see here, for the Bluetooth headphones, they have just had a sale in Eurospin, for instance, I'm going to tell you. These headphones in Eurospin, uh, they popped up, this, this, this headphones in Eurospin already appeared, not in Eurospin, excuse me, I'm, I'm mistaken. Uh, but involved in MK Ultra, the headphones which would go on sale in the future already from the people from Eurospin, like this, they give you a flyer like this, and then you have the special on the top uh, at the front page that you can go and you can purchase. Slovenian police had this from the CEOs, executives in Italy. Um, People who were in charge for manufacturing of the appliances in China. Uh, the same thing was with the Decathlon. The same thing was with all these companies. They would get as far as eight years ahead. Uh, this thing here, I'm going to be like really, really generous to the police today. I'm going to be very generous to the police today. This thing was released as a future item in this store here in Eurospin in 2015. Mm -hmm. In 2015, it just recently was sold. Finally, it was sold. Yes, it finally was sold in Slovenia and also in other European countries right now in 2023. I think they had like two weeks ago the sale. Uh -huh. This is item they discussed about eight years ago. But if I tell you 10 years ago, this is a Bluetooth speaker like this. Mm -hmm. They insisted that this Bluetooth speaker, it will be the batteries and interior that will be removed. The cables will be stolen and all kinds of stuff. Uh, I can go as far and make a claim for 2013, that's basically 10 years ago, the Slovenian police already had this item in the hand, like this, and they already were playing with the Bluetooth items, with the Bluetooth speakers, with my not even knowing whether the Bluetooth speakers existed. Uh, from what I know, they existed, based on the original account, they existed, they were extremely, extremely expensive. And it was the company Eurospin, Italian company Eurospin, in whose interest this genocide was. It was the same thing with the Hofer, with the Lidl, you know, these big companies here, Hofer, Lidl. Maybe it sounds crazy to you, but in the next few seconds, you will understand how they do it and why it, it made them so much sense to do genocide like this to enforce genocide against me see this here these are all the companies that were involved in exactly the same crime exactly the same genocide who pays the bills huh tell me who pays the bills why would they do the stuff like this if we go back to this company here in 2013 i'm gonna say fuck the 2015 this happened in 2013. You would have to pay for the speakers like this. I don't know how much money, but it would be very, very expensive. I purchased them for one dollar, for one euro only. But back then you would have to pay enormous amount of money. If you purchased for 25 euros, you were entitled to get them for one euro here in Slovenia, all over the Europe, actually. They ran this. They did this stuff. Uh, involving in, in crime against me, uh, it was used for the terror to enforce the genocide against me as far as my buying this stuff, 
then having the police get inside of the home and steal them or replace them or whatever do with them stolen dead better inside stolen cables destroyed cables that's what Eurospint wanted that's what Interspar Germans that's what everybody wanted but there is a catch it was not the Slovenian police that would profit from this stuff only uh, the one who profited from this kind of stuff was this company here alone uh, what Sony produced back then, what uh, Philips produced back then, um, and other Grunding and all other expensive companies produced back then, eventually became accessible to this company for extremely, extremely low cost. That's basically partnering with the Germans through this exact crime, paid this company big time, got helped them get the license to produce manufacture in China through also selected manufacturer this cheap version of Sony grounding speaker whatever it was in year 2013 they exclusively would sell do you now understand that I'm telling you the truth if you if you don't believe me go to inspectors from Eurospin or Interspar or Hofer or whatever you want or to the police and you're going to see that they supply them with the flyers of the future sales. They will, they will worse with the special products, crazy like this, that you would say, no, this guy's ill. He's a schizophrenic, whatever, as far as 10 years ahead of event of sale. The flyers from Interspar, Hofer, Lidl, and so on were frequently, frequently enforced through crime through genocide computers all kinds of products like this that you go you buy it's going to be for you it's going to be special sale and this and that and then in the rear of that stuff they only have prepared everything how to substitute you destroy you absolutely everything switch you the items with broken items already and stuff like this and especially they were looking forward for me to make claims like wild claims without explanation on how this stuff became accessible. So that would give the psychiatrist's edge against me. I don't even consider psychiatrists seriously. I consider them seriously as criminals. I am very angry at psychiatry because I complain to the Board of Psychiatrists. I complain to the International Board of Psychiatrists, to the several psychiatric agencies, demanded from them to take actions against Slovenian psychiatry. They have taken none. They have taken none. So when I say to you that they would sit me like this right in front of the computer and they would go over and they would have me, you know, look this, you know, look this, or look this, or look this, or look this. certain things because I realized that this is not the only thing that one knives on the sock on the socks they already created other damage they already enforced uh, damage which they also demonstrated to me there during MK Ultra. here you can clearly see that this is knifed you can see on the side that they not they knife them all over all over and it's not even equally used you know this is a bottom, but somewhere it's completely new. And right next to it, you can see how it's scratched with a knife. And you can see almost like a holes. If you look at, if you pay close attention to, it looks like somebody would put like a heat on them that they like with something hot or something. I don't know what they were doing with this stuff. Look, this is the stuff they knew I'm going to be using. Uh, I'm using the saws with like air saws. However, this air saws that you see here, this stuff here, uh, it doesn't look that this would be from the air saws. This looks like somebody was doing exactly as I was told they're going to destroy my socks. And the way they told me they are going to destroy my socks, it was like this. I'm going to demonstrate to you. This is a sock here. 
this one is not a good example uh, but they thought do you see this do you see this and I have several socks that this part here uh, stretches wide and I said yeah what uh, and what he did in front of me he would go and he would stretch this area like this like this apart 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 I'm not using the right socks to demonstrate you this stuff but they were using what I demonstrated to you if certain socks models of the socks had some kind of any kind of problem or something like this they would go and they would get these socks uh, like this with a hand they would just stretch them like this uh, or they would take knife and uh, basically knife the socks do all kinds of stuff to the socks so basically already destroying a brand new socks destroying a brand new every destroying pretty much absolutely everything whatever they could get a hold of it uh already observing me how i took the clothing down from the rope which i hanged outside they went ahead and they told me during mk ultra i saw you taking clothing like this from the rope outside like this okay let's do it again like this pulling like this uh, and he went ahead in front of me and uh, like if I grab this and with another hand here and just rip the shirt in front of me do you understand what I'm saying um, um, saw me pure in the water obviously this is a big brother house there is cameras here uh, claimed to me during MK Ultra that I am not pure in the water, that there is water coming out on the side. I saw you losing a lot of water, you wasting water. How the fuck you see me? It doesn't matter. I didn't ask because it was all about cameras. We are watching you all the time. Yes. Uh, and so. For that matter, they enforced again hmm, all sorts of other issues on uh, how I'm mentally retarded for wasting water and you know, all kinds of stuff like this, basically ripping you apart and absolutely, absolutely everything you would do. I think I already discussed this issue uh, about, I don't know what it was with this water again, because it was so many, there was so much bullshit involved in it that is impossible to describe how much stuff they have done um so the story about the, this here about this oh oh i wear them one time and i see that they became discolored and heavily disfigured exactly accordingly to look at this Look what the fuck is this. I need to video record this stuff before I'm going to use them because they're going to go bad. They promised me like within one month and a half, nothing would be left from these socks. What they demonstrated me during MK Ultra within one month and a half, this would look like a piece of completely fucked up uh, thing. I mean, this, this, what I'm trying to tell you is this is already destroyed. It feels like somebody worked extremely, extremely, extremely heavy on this stuff. And I don't even know how the hell they did this shit here. But it feels like this will be burned or this would be somebody would be jumping on the stones or something like that. Uh, puncture with something. yeah, Like you would be stabbing with something. This material, this is neoprene. Like somebody would take something and would be stabbing actually stabbing but uh, pulling you know like a screwdriver or I don't know what the fuck they were using to do this kind of damage here yeah so uh, this is definitely not from my shoe insoles that have air in them shoe soles that have air uh, shoe soles with the air that looks like this 
true source with air. So yeah, this is guys how you you uh, interior. You can guarantee yourself a cheaper manufacturing production. Mm, I'm very sad to say that Germans contributed enormously to this genocide, that they sponsored one, that they financed one. So I mean this thing here, the inside, the interior, with like spacing with the air, it would be impossible that something like this would happen. This looks like uh, either somebody would burn through or it would be using a, um, a screwdriver or something uh, maybe even something that you would use to um, basically this stuff was done by somebody who did not even wear shoes I anticipate and was probably jumping on the stones or something like this with this stuff so that he could cause a maximum damage you know why I know this? Because the majority of the weight projects on the foot through here, not through here. Well, also through here, but for you to accomplish this kind of damage, uh, this is a very, very bad damage, I see. This stuff here. This is, this is probably where this is, this, this are basically already designed to completely succumb to, uh, I'm not going to say injuries, but damage they have caused to this, to this, to this product here. So this is already predispositioned for last to me, to, to last to me, maximum one month and a half. And I am pretty sure that if I'm not going to have this with me, it's going to be one month and a half. And maybe if I will have this stuff with me, uh, it's actually going to last me longer than a month and a half. This is the kind of stuff they do, like certain things, small things like this, they demonstrated me and that, then it all opens up. So if you are a store owner, a big store owner, and you want to use the promotion items uh, that you can get cheaper and stuff like this, all you got to do if you want the technology from Germans and chip manufacturing connections and all that, just do the stuff like this, go kill somebody and eventually it's going to pay you off. Thanks for watching this video. Here is the date and time. We're gonna do that stuff too. And that's basically, that's the way, exactly how it's done. Everybody, Interspar, uh, Eurospin, and so on. Do you know how difficult, guys, do you know how difficult you make job for me? Do you know how impossible you made the job for me? It's not my job. It never should have been my job. But you know, do you understand exactly what you have created out of my life with what you have done? How much support that you exactly this stuff here could not cause that kind of stuff. That's exactly what I have. So it's not possible. They did something. The police officer walked on a sand, I anticipate, and had destroyed. Again, a criminal who met me at Brusnice, investigator, was the one who promised me exactly what you see right there. So before I start using it, it's really important for me to document basically what was done before I start even using it and for me to declare that this is already really destroyed. Under normal circumstances, I shouldn't be even using this stuff. Um, the thing is, I have nothing to use. It's not normal.